removing a colour cast. The easy way. Now, the easy way in Photoshop is if you go to Image, Auto Colour, Auto Colour should analyse the photo for you. So think, haha, that's too blue. Take the blue away, give you a nice clean photograph. So, what have we got? Oops, it hasn't worked. In about seven times out of ten, it actually does work and it's, it's quite good. But now, it hasn't for some reason, and I don't know why with this particular image it doesn't. Um, we've got to do it a different way. Now, we'll always work on a layer. We've got too much blue, so what do we do to get rid of blue? Well, we've got to find out what the opposite of the blue is and add it to the photograph and it will sort of cancel out the blueness um, which sounds simple and to be honest it is quite simple to do it's, there's a lot of signs behind it but um, what we need to do we'll have another layer just for that we need to find out the value of the blueness so in Photoshop what it is to get the average colour of that whole scene it's in there so the average of the c that whole scene is that blue so we can assume that that blue is the colour cast is the well the hue of the colour cast now because we're working in layers as we've done before this it looks like I've just laying a sheet of blue paper over the top we need to find the opposite of this luckily photoshop does it for you or it doesn't do it for you but it will help you you need to find the in inverse of the blue um, you could do this on a colour wheel as well if you want to go into colour theory uh, google it I'm not going to go into it here because it is well it's not boring but it's irrelevant for us we just want to find the opposite of that colour so what we'll do is it's an adjustment we need to find the inverse inverse or invert of the blue now we we'll can either pilot it here if you're using a mouse or you can use this keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are great for one once you start to get into them and remember them because they're miles quicker than going through these menus. So there we'll see the inverse of the blue is an orange. So theoretically if we apply this orange it will cancel out the blue and give us an ordinary colour photo. Um, so if we change the see-throughness of that you can see in this case it's not working. It's just going orangey, bluey, it's totally off, it's totally on. We need to vary the way that it's interacting with the colour blue and the frame of the church underneath. It changes the way it mixes, the, the, the two layers mixed together. Um, and that is in this menu. All of the uh, Packages which won't use layers will have something like this. It won't have all of them, but it'll have most of them. Ignore them because the one we want to use is colour because we just want to fiddle with the colour. You see there, straight away it came through with this overlay. Now, what we need to do is to vary the opacity of the orange until it just about cancels out the blue. as a point of reference because I've never seen this scene before if you look for something white like that building there should be white um, so it's not it's grey now that I've taken this off but at least it's not blue and if it's not blue it means you've taken the colour cast away so that's a fairly reasonable job the, the vibrance isn't there the colors actually aren't saturated enough as you can see because it should be more orangey and it does look dull overall but as it stands this is a lot better than that so if we just merge those two levels together come on oops my 
my mistake there that's why it wasn't working controlling there so we've got from that to that there so that's better now we're going to go into levels um, don't be scared of this it is maths but it's it's just a graph so wherever you find it it's, it's up here somewhere or there's a button like that or you can press ctrl L which will bring up your levels um, this histogram is a representation of the shades of grey that are in this so you've got from pure black to pure white you can see there's no white because the whitest thing we've got is grey so grey is in the middle if we pull this towards this, this little slider here because this moves this will make this value here, this value which is now grey white see We've changed the contrast there. That meow one is the cat. One of the cats. We've got a cat in heat, which is just feeling sad. And this is your your midpoint, your mid grey. You see, it's in like a sort of hump here. If we change the middle value, we can change. As you see there, it, it's all done by eye. You've got the to what you think is best and your black you can see if you look there's no true black either so we'll just chivy that along a little bit and give her a black um, that will accept that now if you look with just those two simple steps we've got that which came from that so we've got rid of the blue it's a pretty bog standard photograph, it's not fantastic. Probably wasn't fantastic to start with. Um, it is flat, it does need some vibrance. But we've gotten rid of the colour cast, and there you go. Jobs are good. Un. If you want, you can start adjusting. Um, your colours using colour balance this is standard in all of them increase your blues de -de 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 -de. you can take your remove you your colour cast doing that as well but it's a bit more hitty missy um, but I'll leave it at that for now um, because for one reason the cats just jumped on us and for the second reason the sun is now right in my eyes uh, so there you go removing a colour cast diddly do